Welcome to the report for Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to talk about oligarch hunting today on the report uh, for Tiger Mountain. Mr. President Putin has been a notorious oligarch hunter in his own country. Some of oligarchs he's kept as friends. Some oligarchs he's completely kicked out of Russia. And I'm wondering here in the West, why can't we do that? Now, oligarch hunting, ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about that, you know. I mean, um, President Putin has been a notorious oligarch hunter. As I said before, he kits some uh, oligarchs as his friends who support him and obviously finance him at times. And some oligarchs, uh, he's completely kicked out and exiled out of his country. Uh, you know, I mean, there's a great history of this that goes back to Boris Yeltsin. Um, obviously, after the fall of the uh, Berlin Wall and the fall of the Soviet Union, um, you know, basically all the oligarch vampires uh, came into Russia and basically began to strip mine what was left of the Russian economy and uh, this happened under the time of Yeltsin and then as revenge I believe uh, Yeltsin uh, appointed Putin a very uh, tough KGB guy who was very pro-Russian pro-nationalist uh, leader to take over who he thought could maybe deal with this situation and that's exactly what Putin has done he basically uh, worked out the thousand or so vampires who were tearing apart the Russian economy and decided to kick them out. Sometimes he nationalized things, sometimes he put a good Russian in charge, sometimes he gave it to a friendly oligarch um, to take over, you know, who was pro-Russian and, uh, you know, at least pro his regime. Now, I'm often wondering, why can't we do this in the West? Now, essentially, what would oligarch hunting look like uh, in Western civilization? Well, it basically would mean uh, arresting people like uh, Mark Zuckerberg, um, Jeffrey Bezos, um, you know, the people on Google, all these people. Now, our society is built around laissez-faire capitalism. And, you know, let's just get this straight. Laissez-faire capitalism, which many people on the right are, are fans of, uh, and you know, to some extent I, I, I believe in laissez-faire capitalism within, within certain parameters, but I'm against capitalism when it goes against the national interests and the people of a nation. And capitalism really has reached that stage now where most major capitalists are anti uh, our country and are anti, um, you know, the interests of, of, of the nation and the interests of the people of our country. And this is a, a global situation. It's not only happening here in Australia, it's happening in America, it's happening in most European and Western countries. So uh, what I say is we should go oligarch hunting. We should, um, from a nationalist and actually military perspective, examine the oligarchs who rule our nations and rule the major businesses. And it's an interesting situation at the moment, the way that the globalists have disconnected from Russia. Like they said, um, you know, oh, we're, you know we're, we're getting rid of our uh, McDonald's stores and we're, we're getting rid of Facebook. There's already another Facebook in, in Russia. It's called VK. And, um, you know, there are other groups. And so what they've said, that McDonald's is closing. So what uh, Putin has said is fine, McDonald's is closing. We're just going to call it Uncle Vanya's. You know what I mean? It's going to basically serve the same menu. And basically, Basically, the, the Russian nation is now going to make the money. I mean, think of all the money that must be ma made from McDonald's. So, and th this, is, this is incredible. See, the globals, I think, are shooting themselves in the foot because this is how they have their great power over the whole planet, is uh, through um, the te vast tentacles of capitalism. But there's no reason that in each nation of the world, we can't um, basically nationalize. I mean, we can nationalize McDonald's locally. We can nationalize all the major corporations, Apple, Facebook, just say bye bye, and also to countries where these uh, um, major corporations exist, like say Silicon Valley. Um, you could basically, if you had a proper dictator in the United States, which we need, to be honest, to fight the globals, let's be honest, we're not going to fight it through democracy because democracy has been completely corrupted. What we need are benevolent right-wing dictators that are going to take on the globalist cabal. And if we had that in America, for example, if there was a revolution and you um, had a, uh, a benevolent dictator installed into the United States, maybe Trump, maybe somebody else, maybe Ron DeSantis, they could actually go for these globalists and you could basically arrest people like like Jeffrey Bezos and Mark Zuckerberg and say, thank you very much. Um, you know, here's a one way trip to Switzerland. And, you know, I'm sure you've got some money offshore somewhere that we can't find. So it's not like these people are going to be poor um, and just buy bye. And then uh, Facebook uh, would then become a kind of social utility or public utility. And then you could declare free speech on it. People can say what they like. Uh, and then away you go, or at least you can control it um, from, you know, at least a benevolent right-wing perspective. So uh, I know it's very controversial to think these kind of things, but I do believe um, history has re-begun and that the kind of dangers of um, a, a rampant capitalism are now on display. Obviously, people say that communism and fascism are the two great um, threats uh, from the 20th century to liberty and stuff, but I think 
Capitalism itself has become a major threat to liberty. And uh, we need, uh, uh, whether it be from the left or right, some kind of um, you know, fight back against these uh, vast capitalist powers that are tearing apart our civilizations and uh, attempting to enslave the planet through the New World Order. So anything that is against the New World Order and their power um, nexus uh, is a good thing. So um, you should look into that. And there's a fascinating philosopher from Russia, Alexander Dugan, I've recommended him before on the report from Tiger Mountain. Look into him. His works are available at Amazon, surprisingly, at least sometimes. And uh, look into his books, The Fourth Political Theory and others. And uh, he, he often talks about uh, various strategies for uh, being anti-globalist. So there you go. Oligarch hunting in the West, ladies and gentlemen. Could it be a good thing? It's only obviously something that we're spitballing at the moment, but it's a very interesting idea. So there it is.